Our goal at Circuit Board Medics is to simplify the process of CCU removal and reinstallation for our customers. Therefore, we are creating a video to show the removal of a CCU or central control unit from a Whirlpool Duet washing machine. The process is the same for Kenmore brand units as well. The first step is to ensure that the machine is unplugged from the wall outlet. Next, you will need the following tools. A flathead screwdriver and one of the following. A 7 mm socket if you have a metric socket set, a 9 32nd socket if you have a standard set, or a T20 size torch bit. Any of these can be used to remove the top of the machine. You also need a socket wrench, of course, if you're using a socket, but I'll be using a Torx bit to remove the screws in this video. Next, I'll remove the three screws at the back of the machine that secure the top. Once the screws are removed, slide the top of the machine towards the back of the machine. It will actually slide about an inch and then it's free to lift off. Lift it off and set it somewhere out of the way to prevent it from getting scratched. Now we can see the CCU. Now this is the brain of the machine so it has a lot of cables leading to it, but don't let those cables intimidate you. Removal is much easier than it looks at this point. Next we just remove each cable from the CCU. I do recommend labeling the CCU and cables accordingly to facilitate the reinstallation of the unit. You can use your own labeling system, but just use masking tape and a pen. There's no need to get sophisticated with your label making process. Now you'll notice there are some small tabs helping secure the blue cables in place. These can be a little tricky to remove, but just pry these up with one finger as you pull the cables out. The tabs are fragile and sometimes brittle, but it's not devastating if you happen to break one. Now I like to remove the CCU from the frame of the washing machine before I disconnect the cables on the shorter side because it gives me a little more room to work. There are three tabs on top of the CCU that secure it to the frame of the machine by biting into the metal frame. I'll use my flathead screwdriver to gently, that's the key word here, is gently pry up the tabs and slide the CCU off the frame. As you pry up these tabs, just push the CCU towards the front of the machine. On this particular model, you'll notice only the two outer tabs actually needed to be pried up. Now disconnect the remaining cables from the CCU. They'll usually be secured by those small tabs like the blue cables along the front side, so you'll need to use both hands and possibly wiggle the cables a bit to free them. At this point, you've completely removed the CCU. We do not recommend trying to disassemble it further as the plastic case does provide additional protection during ship. You also eliminate the risk of damage to the circuit board from static discharge if you do not attempt to remove it from the housing. Reinstallation is simply the reversal of the removal process. We hope this video has helped and we hope we can assist you with the repair and upgrade of your circuit board so your washing machine will provide many more years of service.